So we've heard the term pirate, but what about privateer and buccaneer? And do you know the difference? Well, today we're going to explore all three so you have an understanding of what they are today on History of Pirates. Now, what's the first thing to come to mind when you hear the word pirate? Is it Jack Sparrow? Is it Blackbeard? Is it that person from Treasure Island with a parrot on his shoulder? Well, basically this. A pirate is anyone who plunders a ship at sea or uses a sea vessel to attack coastal ports or towns. Basically, pirates fall into this category. Persons that rob, kidnap, murder, they all qualify for being a pirate as long as a boat is involved. If there's no water or no boat, then basically you're just a regular bandit. So that brings us to privateers. Privateers basically were legal pirates. They were individuals commissioned by the government to carry out activities like pirating. So here's what would happen. So England would give out a letter of mark. You would get this letter of mark. You could go out and attack their enemies. You could steal their ships. You could plunder. You could do whatever you do. As long as you had that letter of mark, it was kind of considered legal and you weren't considered a pirate. Hence the word privateer. One of the most famous privateer probably was Francis Drake, and we'll do a video on him later, who made a fortune plundering Spanish settlements because he was granted a privateering commission by Elizabeth I in 1572. Many of the pirates that we study today started off as privateers. And what happened, the war ended. The letter of marks were no good anymore and they wanted to continue their business. So they began to plunder and steal from any ship that came in their vicinity. When a privateer was captured, he was considered a prisoner of war. But when a pirate is captured, normally what happens is he was hung after he was tried and his body was put on display for everyone as a warning, basically saying, don't be this guy or this will happen to you. In the end, privateering provided a way for different nations to engage in naval warfare without the cost of maintaining a navy. Because if something happened to the privateer, it was no loss. But if a privateer was very successful, it would help with the war. It was a win-win for any nation. The term buccaneers is an interesting one. It originated from a group of French settlers living in the Caribbean in the early 1600s because they were known for smoking their meat on a special frame known as boucans. But the problem was the Spanish showed up and drove these men from their home. These French men came together attacking Spanish vessels and plundering Spanish towns. The buccaneers had a horrendous reputation of being extremely brutal and ruthless. They began to settle in the island of Hispaniola, which is the country of Haiti and Dominican Republic. One of the most famous buccaneers that we know of is Captain Henry Morgan. Yes, that's right. And we're going to do a video on him as well. So as the term buccaneer grew, it usually referred to anyone operating against the Spanish in the Caribbean. Because not all buccaneers were legal or they didn't have letters of mark, a lot of people associated buccaneers with the term pirate, basically saying they are the same thing or the same group of people. So there's the difference. There's the difference between all three, privateering, pirate, and buccaneer. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to check out all the amazing things in the description below. We've got a lot of cool stuff in there. I hope you check it out. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. This is History of Pirates.